I'm going to record it. All oh, right, okay. Now it's working in my voice pretty well. Um, I should leave it on record. Okay, so hi, folks. The bit of course here, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been away for a bit. I've been away for a bit. Um, not so bad. It's like someone's opened a gateway to hell. They've opened a trap door to hell, and every demon is running amok in my life at the moment, trying to make a score, trying to take chips off the cause, man. Trying taking chips off the bed cause. But um, I just came back to relate something that I think is quite a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> a funny story, I don't know. I'm actually quite that way. So I'm at my desk, okay? And, um, you know, just going through the term, just got some stuff to do, got some exams coming up and stuff like that. And I'm just looking, checking through the emails, and I'm I look through the emails, and I see some monkey in the email. I see what well, I see, chimpanzee in the email, and it's like it says, "You have been, you have been uh, put on a trading day. The trading day is Monday. You're kind of on the trading day." So I'm like, okay, I um, chat to my boss. You got trading day? Check it out. Okay, okay. And I'm like, um, what's this about? There's like a chimpanzee on it or something. So anyway, I went back, had a look at it. And it's, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, it's like, <laughs> it's a training day for um, conflict resolution with young people. And the <laughs> supposedly the mindset of young people and uh, how you can best, uh, you know, resolve conflicts without exacerbating the situations. So, well, absolutely, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill, normal, um, you know, school interaction stuff with young people. We've got quite a lot of NQTs coming on, newly qualified teachers coming on, so that was probably why the session was run. But bearing in mind, we're coming off the back of the sessions where uh, we're coming off the back of the niggas go home, niggas go home training session where the guy came in stressing the importance of English and where the apostrophe should go. So he thought it was good to project on a large screen in front of all the teachers. I wasn't there, I was told about this. Um, uh, some graffiti which said, niggas go home. Because he thought this would best illustrate the ignorance of people in terms of where not to put the apostrophe. <laughs> so it was that training day. One or two people made a couple of complaints. And I was like, oh, you know what? You know, OK, I'll come to this training day. You know, they're treating my luck share. They, like, parred me off quite a bit and, like, you know, pretty much sent a commentary by most... Um, which is quite okay, and this is a job I, I uh, affects the lives of many young people extremely positively. Fantastic record in the place. I'm not really that concerned about the interactions of those who are, let's say, questionable um, intellectual props. <laughs> but I checked this email, and it's called Deeper Into the World of the Chimp. I, I won't say the name of the school. <laughs> the quote goes on afterwards to say, you thought my kindness was weakness. You thought wrong. Miss Dynamite. <laughs> and, uh, and underneath that, there's a picture of a chimpanzee with its fingers in its ears. Now, I got this picture of a chimpanzee in the middle of the and it looks like the pensive thinking chimpanzee didn't present the world of the chimp. And I immediately maybe assume, okay, maybe this is some sort of cack handed trading day type thing where, you know. You look into the, um, the the mindset of the primates and the initial fight or flight, you know, psychology of the primates, and, and somehow this might um, have some resonance with human beings and how we interact with other people. <laughs> but um, it went on to take a little bit more of a sinister turn than that. So yeah, let's go deeper into the world of chimp. Okay, this is a training day for. Um, teachers on how to interact with young people. Now, although it may be a generic tuition that it's followed out to all schools in a, in the London borough, our school is a, you know, fairly monoculture school consisting of mostly Afro-Caribbean and African descendant variant um, um, intake, um, Ghanaians, Nigerians, Angolans, um, we've got Ethiopians, we've got Eritreans, um, you know, so it's fairly diverse. We've also got Afghanis, we've got uh, Turkish, we've got Kurds, we've got Iraqi, we've got Syrian, we've got Albanian, you know, 
very multicultural school, but predominantly those of a darker hue. Now, a lot of the resolving conflict around, you know, the site is very bog standard and pretty preaching to the converted in terms of those who are fairly experienced at working in inner London schools, uh, you know, in terms of uh, space, eye level, you know, in maintaining eye contact, slow, casual, resp you know, uh, responses, respecting distance, so as not to exacerbate the situation if you feel like you have a young person who may be, like, simmering or ready to go off or who has indeed gone off. And I haven't got any problem with, um, you know, the, the, the certain things that are espoused in this um, uh, um, in terms of how teachers interact, how to manage a difficult conversation around the site and stop it from escalating, um, discussion choices, don't chase secondary behaviours, okay, plan your interaction. Listen, I'm, I'm with you here, right? Don't bring up past misdemeanours. Remember that you're the adult. And uh, to one extent, I was actually um, quite intrigued as to how um, this chimp mentality applied to teachers if it did at all. I mean, if one has a primal fight or flight feeling when interacting with young people in a school, what does that say about the mentality of the supposed adult? If they feel that their life is in threat when interacting with a young person who might be going off, you know, maybe a little bit of experience or immaturity, I think, in terms of whoever might have devised this. But, you know, in terms of most of the... Uh, the, 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 the four part, I was okay. Turned up to the, uh, uh, <laughs> turned up to the training day. And uh, I turned up in the middle of like interaction, people were walking around almost like a sort of Christian type, hello, you blah, blah. And then uh, we all sat down and then he started to go into the psychology of the chimp. And this is where it starts to get a little bit disturbing because he then kept relating the chimp ideology to the young people saying you have to understand about chimps <laughs> chimps <laughs> you have to understand about chimps chimps like uh um will um sometimes if they get co our collective um <laughs> pursue one particular type of disruptive behavior in which case you might be, you may have to you may you may have to separate um uh, the, the core chimp group. <laughs> so I usually keep this velvety bag. And he opened up this velvety bag and he was like, um, and, and I put prizes in, you see, because chimps are like putting their hands in things and not knowing what it's what they're going to get. So you have to vary the interaction with the chimp part of the mind in order to keep them active so as, you know, they can't stop formulating any disruptive behaviour. Keep the chimp busy. <laughs> I'm thinking... I'm, I'm like, I'm looking around, all of these other teachers are just sitting there, just going, the psychology of a chimp is... <laughs> Sorry. So, um, yeah, I've got this guy walking around, and he's constantly <laughs> referring the psychology of a, uh, uh, of a chimpanzee or a primate in terms of the, cog the cognitive functionality of a primate to those of young people. And if we perceive those young people as the primates that it, we're alluding to here, it might actually help us uh, kind of, uh, you know, forestall possible, uh, let's say, a bad interaction. And as we go on, I'm looking at the back. He's got, he's got a suitcase full of little... Toy chimpanzees. I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm looking around, and every time he makes the chip reference and to young people, I'm hurting inside. I'm looking around, I'm thinking, am I the only person that's, um, that's uh, feeling slightly uncomfortable about this? Um, so we fill out one or two pieces of paper and we kind of break off into our tea groups. No one's really using the attempt analogy in our team group, but we're actually talking about constructive mechanisms for resolving conflict. Then we split off into other groups. Now I end up with, <laughs> I end up with the main, uh, the main speaker, the one who's been espousing this uh, chip ideology, and it's 
comes from apparently it comes from a guy called Dr. Steve Peters um, uh, from a book called The Chimp Paradox, and he, I believe, initially related this to. Um, some cycling team, I believe, it might have been a Tour de France cycling team, in terms of their work output and how they feel in terms of strategizing. Um, and um, he goes on to say, uh, you know, this is the quote that's used within this training day pamphlet. It says, the chimp is fast to reach a conclusion and doesn't wait for all of the information to come through before reaching its conclusions. The chimp forms an opinion based on its feelings and impressions and then fixes its opinion. It then searches out evidence to back up its opinion and prove its point. In doing this, it typically twists the facts to fit its opinion and is very unreasonable and irrational if challenged. <laughs> The chimp is an emotional machine that will hijack you if you allow it to. It is not good or bad. It is a chimp. <laughs> it can be your best friend or your worst enemy. This is the chimp paradox, according to Dr. Steve Peters of The Chimp Paradox. It then goes on to say... <laughs> Sorry. It then goes on to say... Managing chimps... Anger and the psychological minds. Okay, so now we're supposedly managing chimps. Now we're talking about classes of young people here, but and if if you think about it, and you're a newly qualified teacher, and you've just come out of university, and this is your first job, and for what I believe may be a majority of the twenty six or so staff we've just taken on, this might be one of the first training days that you've experienced at school, and you're going to take this really seriously, and <laughs> you're going to try and apply. And now, obviously, we have been given a brain, and we're supposed to out out circle around the perineal and um, the cerebral cortex and the temporal lobes and the, the limbic. And you're supposed to put circles around those areas, which obviously I was able to do. And uh, um, um, <laughs> in the, the kind of questionnaire at the end of that was called Chimp Challenge. <laughs> which part of the brain is dominant, uh, right? Where does information go first as it enters the brain? Now, at this point, some people might be thinking, okay, okay, we're talking about the basic cognitive function of a brain and how it may relate to primates in terms of initial um, fight or flight instincts, uh, in terms of aggression. Now, I, I don't know about you, but I'm a human fucking being. I'm not a fucking primate. And the difference between us and fucking primates is that we have some something called rationale and you appeal to the rationale of that young person in order to help them grow you do not react to what might be primal instincts which may reflect uh, uh, I don't know some form of uh, abuse or psychological disturbance from the young person which you might have to get to the bottom to rather than <laughs> the broad stroking it as chimp behavior now it, it, I, I, as I said I ended up uh, I ended up in the the class with the main speaker and um, hold on. <laughs> I ended up in the class with the main speaker and uh, I, 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 I hesitated to say anything in front of the whole school <laughs> because apparently other people had had a, one extra well, an earlier session of this guy he'd come before and um he'd been making the chimp analogy to young people and and no one had my own had objected no one said anything so i'm in the room with the guy and um he starts to go through various different permutations of uh breaking up teams of young people or classroom or corridor situations and um, he actually said, you know, it's, you have to realise, it's not them, it's the chimp, <laughs> okay? And you're managing the chimp. And, and, you, and, and he actually said that with his own mouth. Um, you know, unless you may have to take control and say, come on, guys, don't let that chimp inside you get the better of you. <laughs> and I put my hands like, 
Whoa, 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 excuse, excuse me, excuse me, are, 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 you, are, are you sincerely advocating that um, at some point through conversation with young people, you might actually say to a group of young black boys, I didn't say young black boys, I said a group of young boys, come on guys, don't let the chimp inside you get the better of you. Imagine that's a young, what, a young white teacher from fucking outside of London comes into work at our school and says that. Are you fucking having a lot? Well, I didn't, you know. Um, this is what's going on in my head. So I put my hand on and I said, um, surely, you, you, can you not see the uh, possible negative connotations that could be <laughs> inferred from referring to a group of young people as having an inner chimp in them and not being able to get the better of them. I'm sorry, and I'm looking around and I'm thinking, am, am I on another planet? And I'm looking at the people and you can't see the potential negatives and all of this while he's got a suitcase on the desk with about six chimpanzees hanging outside the front. And uh, he said, no, 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 I, I, sorry, I, I don't, don't know what what you mean? And I said, I said, you don't know what I mean. The fact that you may be referring in this school to a group of young boys as chimpanzees, you don't see the problem with that. And he's like, no, I, look, I understand you're having a pop, but, um, well, no, I don't see why they think that unless, unless you gave them the impression that that's what you're thinking. I was like, well, God. my goodness, the intellectual level is so low here that... This guy refuses to acknowledge the immediate racial connotations that can be assumed here. If you were to tell a group of young black boys not to let the chimp inside them get the better of him, and he's standing there, pole faced in my face, saying, No, I can't see how you, you would draw that conclusion unless I inferred it, unless I was a malevolent influence and put that into their heads. The type of idea that any parent <laughs> would come to the conclusion of if their child came home and said, Mum, sir, said to me that I shouldn't let the chimp, the chimpanzee inside of me get the better of me. So... I raised my objections and I said, look, clearly, you know, I know the place I'm working. No one in here is going to, on, the, on my right, I've got, um, you know, I've got um, middle-aged um, earth mother, you know, left wing, probably a spouse, you know, probably agrees with what I'm saying, but it's one thing to acknowledge racism. It's quite another thing to say something about it, which is probably her point of view, but she probably backs me. Um, um, to my right, I've got um, Bedwench, who uh, after all of this time is like starting to clue of the immense <laughs> piss taking that is going on right in front of her face. Um, on the far side, I've got rotund, heavy set, bad attitude. You know who this person is, okay? And um, then we've got a couple of NQTs who don't know shit from Shine Elder, and they're like, okay, listen, this is just a training day. I'm getting for it, blah, blah, blah. Then immediately in front of me, I have uh, Mr. PE teacher. And in terms of the um, inferences and connotations, this is way over his head. So he's got nothing to contribute here. Um, then out of the corner of my head, I looked up, shut your damn mouth. I heard, shut your damn mouth from the fat, rotund, Afro-Caribbean, oof, oof, Sambo Jigaboo Coon. Now I said it. Give me a fucking break. I, so I think I put the guy off his step a little bit thinking, oh my gosh, how could you possibly infer that this could possibly be racist? And then he goes and goes, the chimpanzee is not the mindset you want to He opens his suitcase and pulls out a little rusty mouse and says, there's my bomb body. <laughs> there's my bomb body. Peace and love. <laughs> Peace and love. That's what, peace and love. That's where. Um, that's where I'm. That's where I want my maternity to be. Peace and love. Oh Lord, I'm thinking to myself. You've just mentioned a chimpanzee. <laughs> There's 
And I'm looking around thinking, am I the only person? Am I the only person? Am I the only person that has a problem with this? Am I the only person? So, okay, um, um, I like I finish off the rest of this, and I contribute fairly instructive things to us. I said, <laughs> as I said, then I um, I then we, you know, I, I waited afterwards a little bit, and then uh. The guy that I tell you, I would have been much more angrier if I had actually read through the brochure. Kind of like nearly if I sort of pulled them up at the end and I said, "Listen, um, I totally understand where you're coming from in terms of conflict resolution, but don't you think equating the mindset of young people in the inner city London school to be espoused by the new teaching staff might be a little bit controversial? You don't think there might be a little bit of blowback if a teacher says, come on guys, don't let the chimp inside you get the better of you? He said, no, he doesn't see that. I mean, there's all forms of analogies that we can use here. We can use little incredible hulks. So, you know, don't get me angry. And we have to control the hulk. Um, you know, or, 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 you know, it's a Christian school. You can say little devil inside you. Don't, you know, there are ways to combat this little devil. There are numerous different analogies that you can make with inside. Uh, child, but, 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 and, and I wouldn't even do that and I would always appeal I don't appeal to the base instinct so I don't appeal to the prime primeval primordial level I appeal to the higher developmental level the aspiration up to a higher level is what it's supposed to be it's not supposed to be acknowledging the lower level and combating that it's taking the best of what you have uh, you have already and raising that to a higher level so I get um the training day finishes, cut a long story short, training day finishes, and I go home, I go home, and then I go home, and as I'm on my way home, I, I turn the next page, and it says the next page, and it says, Chimp Watch. <laughs> it, page 16 is called Chimp Watch. Over the next week, pay close attention to any incidents of aggression that occur in your classroom or that you witness around the site. Remember, you know, we're not supposed to be talking about kids. We're supposed to be talking about that primeval, primordial, like, chimp, you know, the cognitive functions of a chimp, that's very limited. That, right, but, but we're not supposed to be talking about kids. We're supposed to be talking about acknowledging how the limbic and synaptic and, and, and cognitive functions work within the brain. Okay, supposedly. <laughs> Try to work out what the triggers are for these aggressive incidents. Notice the difference between people who are in chimp, who are in chimp mode. <laughs> Notice the people who are in chimp mode and those who are in rational mode. <laughs> Does the time of day have anything to do with it? Time. <laughs> Tired, hungry, <laughs> dehydrated. Next activity, okay. Is there anything in the environment to trigger aggressive behavior, right? Is the behavior directly influenced by decisions or choices you have made? Record inst all incidents of children. <laughs> Record. Record all incidents of chipness in your own behaviour and that of others. Reflect on their causes and triggers. <laughs> so, um, there you go. That's page 19. That chimp watch. Um, that's, that's how, supposedly... <laughs> oh, apparently, that's supposedly how we're supposed to analyse... Um, Dealing with um, uh, young people um, in, in in classroom situations, um, it goes on to outline numerous um, facts and, and and studies and and then a kind of like resume at the back, <laughs> so far, of which you'll you I'll probably scan bits of, we'll take a photo of, but um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> um. um I, 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 I'm, uh, do, is, is, am I, am I, am I wrong in, <laughs> am I wrong in, uh, in uh, my immediate assumptions that this might be totally inappropriate for um, 
newly qualified teachers in terms of working with in the city areas. Do you think that possibly if one were to take on board all of the references here in terms of chimp watch <laughs> that um so uh, I, I, listen i'm not here to demean all of it um <laughs> you are not responsible for the nature of your chimp but you are responsible for managing it <laughs> Managing chips and get the psychological mind. Yeah, okay, there we go. We're back to chip watch again. Oh boy, I mean, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, am I, 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 am I being, am I being overly <laughs> sensitive here in terms of this application of thought process to an inner city London school? Am I wrong? <laughs> Please let me know. <laughs>